All right, all right. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're here. If you've come to watch this this episode of World of Tanks, I'm your host Ted Tokes, and uh, let's get right into it. We got some. Uh, we got some. Uh, we got about half a dozen matches in this video. Uh, the reason there's so many is because they're not full matches. We don't. I don't stick around for the rewards board on some of these. I end up getting uh, destroyed, and we kind of just move on from there to the next match. All right. Initially, this first match, we're heading down. Uh, we're heading down the northern flank of the enemy's uh, home base. We got some teammates up there on the hills, and we're gonna just hope that the Overwatch actually overwatches as we do our scouting job. Now, as you can see, I'm rotating in. I found some of the enemies. I'm gonna try to capitalize. Uh, I don't quite remember if I end up getting penalized for it, or if they counter me in any way. Uh, looks like I made a pretty uh, pretty positive first encounter. Uh, head, it looks like I'm heading back to help the Overwatch because they got people that are going to make them have a battle zone and they're not very good at battling, let alone overwatching. So I don't want them to have to face this uh, little squad here by themselves. I head over to help. I managed to get some good parts of that tank. And we head back to the original guy that, uh, the original tank that was uh, trying to target us that we were... Uh, that we were trying to capitalize on, but he countered us pretty good with our approach. Much better than the first rotation we made upon him. They managed to destroy our tank. You know, it's down to the Overwatch at that point. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys sit through them anymore, uh, unless it's uh, unless there's a reason. You know, I may I may fast forward them just so you guys don't think that I'm throwing awards boards that didn't go to that match or something. Um, cause it is kind of possible, you know, you play this game so much and you'll realize it's the same people playing. You kind of play with the same community and, uh, you know, it, it kind of could be, um, tamperable, I suppose. But, uh, these are just the, um, time of battle that I got, you know, we, we end up having a big failure that time. So we're not going to talk much on that one. Uh, the third match though, here we are in our leopard. We start making our way to the front lines. It looks like I was uh, a little distracted this time. I ran into a wall in overdrive. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's gonna get tight right here. And that guy mentions that it's gonna get tight, and he is in a tight spot indeed. Mm, how did you like that? Considering the fact that he's the only one down there in that J line facing the enemy tanks, and uh, the Overwatch, unless they actually Overwatch, he's he's in a pretty tight spot. I'm going to try and help uh, the northeastern side of the river push. That way they can rotate the, uh, that guy's backside that's going to require Ooh, some help. three of them right here. He's, sh he, he's calling out the enemies he could use some help oh, with I'm that he can oh. maybe assume that the Overwatch is able to actually watch over with. I'm looking down my barrel here, trying to find a shot. We line one up, send it. We bounce. That's all right. We're getting the reload. Half a dozen seconds later, we'll try again. That's the beauty in being able to reload your gun because you use it. The only downfall is when you have a broken loader or a broken gunner or a broken ammo rack. It seems to slow down my reload time. I'm trying to lay into these guys. I get a bunch of deflections. I'm not landing my shots. Uh, it was probably a match. I wasn't totally in it. Uh, I really do slack a lot these days. I don't. I don't know. I just, it's a problem. It's, it's kind of an ego thing, you know. I, I feel like I'm so. I feel like I'm good enough to not try for most of my situations, and then a lot of the situations I'm able to actually just float through, and it, you know, almost like I looked like I was doing some pretty cool stuff. But I was really. I'm just doing basic stuff, guys. You know what I mean? Just. Standard peak and pops, standard auto locking, you know, standard using the armor on my tank. It's pretty standard stuff, it really is. Uh, the people that think that this game is complicated to play are probably the people that sit behind other players that find it actually easy to play the game. Uh, they just happen to fail because they're the only ones actually playing the game. And the support that they're supposed to get from the Overwatch isn't actually support. You can see I'm bridging the gap here. I'm trying to close in on this tank, on these tanks. Uh, I was probably going to give that guy a ram, 
Uh, there's a... Uh, yeah, see, I end up dying. I, I knew I was pushing too far in right there. Um, but then the the team, they, sh they should be able to kind of move up and help them. Uh, even though I'm gone, you know, even though my tank's destroyed, they, they should be able to help each other enough, you know, to, to still be able to be impactful enough to control the outcome. It's not really decided at that point, I'd say. Uh, it was for me because my tank was destroyed. My, you know what I mean? My, my, my chance is over. My chance relies on their, on them taking their chances and capitalizing on the chances that they took. Next match, we're back to the Armadillo. Um, if I remember this one correctly, uh, I skimmed through these matches and I noticed a point in this one where it made me remember which match this was. And uh, I, I want to say these matches would go a lot better if you guys actually overwatched. Like this whole G0 thing, that's not playing the game. Even you guys in the city center in the middle of the map, you guys are kind of embarrassing because you know why you're going there. You're going there because there's an an unreasonable amount of cover and, and you know... And the thing is, is when you guys hide in them buildings, you're not helping your team even because you know you go there because the enemies are going to concern themselves more with the tanks that aren't in cover. The tanks that they can actually push and take advantage of. They have to breach that city. Not just push it, but they have to breach the city to actually... Uh, and as you can see, this time they actually were. That's what they were doing. Look at them breaching that city over there in F5. You know, they, they pushed up that uh, entrance of the city, that city center. These guys in G0 able to do nothing about it. These guys, this light tank and medium, more south of them. Uh, the mediums, they're not going to do anything. They'll probably focus on that light tank, you know. Uh, all them tanks that were up on the D-line on this northwest corner, they'll probably flush that heavy and them two light tanks all because of the distraction and disruption of this one light tank that's um, actually on its way to kill me. And after he destroys my tank, we jump into the next match. You can see me approach. Looks like the, uh, the teammates aren't really going to apply much participation or pressure whichever one you want to consider it because they are two different things you could be participating but not pressuring but you can't be pressuring if you're not participating that's the only thing about that nice little rotation you can see me step into the enemy territory trying to cause some disruption take some attention to these enemy barrels we got this medium up here looks like I'm gonna choose to rotate try and get me some uh, points out of that we end up uh, end up getting some good points there, actually. Dodged a good bit, you know, nice nice footwork. It was just fast enough of a rotation to stay out of the way of the barrel's trajectory. Uh, it was just slow enough to stay in the way of our own barrel's trajectory to keep that line of sight. They, file, they follow behind as they flank that medium we were just encountering. And now we're making our push on the enemy's home plate. As you can see, I take the fight to them, try and cause some disruption up here in their front lines. That way there's less attention being given to my support that may actually be supporting this time even. As you can see, we have some teammate tanks pretty close to the battle zone, if not on it. We go back in after that little, uh, that little, uh, activity there. Team's done with, uh, so, with their line of defense, so we break into the next line of attack, uh, the next line of defense. Looks like, uh, we didn't get to do anything because they capped our base too quick. And there was really no trying to cap their base to counter it. I maybe could have went back to uh, my own base to counter it, but I didn't notice or and or didn't do it. Whether it was because I didn't notice it or I wasn't playing in a way... I got first place, so maybe I wasn't playing in a way that... Um, a lot of times I don't want to participate to the point where I'm playing the game for them, but I do want to participate enough to where I get like fourth place. And, and that, in my own opinion, like my, from my own point of view, I see fourth place as the guy 
that he helped the the play the the teammate in fourth place was a teammate but it wasn't the star teammate it was just support actual support may have done star player things but was support more than anything because that's what fourth place is podium is podium is set aside for the players that made the most impact in the game that's how i feel podium should be recognized as the the players that have the most impact in the game not just damage but the most impact in the game towards the outcome nice little rotation i'm not looking at my target but uh we send a couple shots we keep rotating i'm probably not shooting because by the looks of it he's probably outrunning my turn uh, them tanks got a bit of a rotation on them. They got some turning radius. So we got to keep that angle so that this little uh, Scorpion 90 can't really do anything. I think, what was it, a Scorpion? I don't know. It might not have been a Scorpion 90. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, this little screen for the, for the editing software shows the video real small. So unless I watch it beforehand, I don't really see it on a big screen. And uh, it's kind of hard to see this little, it's probably like a... Uh, four three by five inch screen so um and it's you know it's not like my phone it's not right up in my face it's all the way across my desk my office desk but uh yeah you know so unless I'll, if when i'm on the editing software actually editing or doing the voiceovers it's uh it's a lot smaller of a screen to see what's going on which is why it's harder for me to uh notice like uh certain things like it's kind of hard to see the numbers of my damage up in the top right right now, you know. Looks like we were finishing up a nice little encounter. We're heading in for some more points as we try to clean up this match and get some points before the match is cleaned up and all the uh, all the janitors of the game come in like 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 they're fucking employed tankers or something. Um, and and they were and they were playing the game the whole time and and not just the cleanup crew of every match. But um, here I am, I'm trying to get some points. We got the reload. We stay in the line of sight, risking the health of our own tank, even as we're getting approached by the Overwatch. But good news is we did all right, you know, I don't know. I think uh, after playing even just a few matches, even the most new of players can, 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 just, they can realize pretty quick that uh, as long as there was actual teamwork or more, uh, more team based practices and going on uh it, it it's it would actually be a pretty great game but those were those matches for this video uh i, I really hope you all enjoyed uh thank you for being a part of the process in whatever way you were or are and um uh, if you want check out another video uh maybe some of the new ones as i plan to make more i plan to keep making them at least one a week uh, got a lot of stuff going on in life right now, but I'm hoping for three a week, but at least one a week.